Charles V was on the throne, Clement Attlee was the Prime Minister, and his hourly rate was just three pence. Today, 66 years later, and at the age of 80, Albert is still working. Kerry Swain has been talking to the man thought to be Britain's oldest plumber. I found Albert Keats stretched out full length on the bathroom floor working on a toilet system. He may be 80 years old, but spanner in hand, Albert doesn't hesitate to crawl into the smallest of spaces. Are you ever conscious of your age when you're working? Not really, no, not really. Only if I've got a lot of heavy lifting to do or something, or lots of stairs to keep going up and down. And I keep occupationally fit, which means I can wriggle into most places. In 1946, the princesses Elizabeth and Margaret attended Henley Royal Regatta. Their parents, King George V and the Duchess of York, inspected bomb damage in Canterbury. But there were no cameras when 15-year-old Albert Keats started as an apprentice plumber in Southampton. These pictures are of him in the RAF in 1952. I was working a five and a half day, 44 hour a week for one pound seven shillings and six pence, one pound 35. And that was a little under three p an hour in modern money. Albert started his own business in 1967. He's also a fully qualified electrician. He taught plumbing to students in Southampton and Eastleigh for 35 years, qualified as a ballroom dancing teacher, got his private pilot's license and a maths science degree from the Open University. And his customers love him. He's worked for this family business for four generations. I can't remember a time when he wasn't working for us. He's always very reliable. He, he will always come and sort out really quite tricky problems. What's made you continue so long? Very large to hear customers, I think. My customers seem to think well of me and um, I've come to, to be quite fond of my customers. Albert is planning to retire at the end of the year when he turns 81. That's if his customers let him. Kerry Swain for Meridian tonight. Oh, he's well fantastic. Done, yes, well done indeed. Well, from an elderly plumber to a very young sportsman.